All right, so we're back out here on the Rich Redneck Ranch here, and uh, I picked up some some mowing equipment today. Because as you guys can see, um, my yard is looking like it needs a good mow. It, it it is bad through here. The grass is almost as high as my trailer. Like it is bad. It needs to be mowed in the worst way. So uh, we're gonna be cleaning it up around here. We haven't been done a good cleanup of this range in a while. So uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do today. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. Also, by the way, picked this little truck up yesterday. Look at this thing. This thing looks pretty cool. Got a custom grill, custom front end. Like, it, this thing is pretty cool. And then, of course, had to pick up one of these. The best smaller ride-on tractor money could buy was uh, this one right here. The one thing that would have made it really cool is if it was like the 8RX and it had tracks on it. See, with that, you couldn't go wrong. All right, so we'll drop the trailer off here and let's lower this. Turn it on. Good to go. You going? Okay, we're good. We're making it happen. And preferably, we're not going to blow any grass onto the road here. We're just going to try get it next to the fence. So, you know, some millionaires, they pay people to come out and mow their lawns. You know, they have employees to do all that. You know what? I think this is fun. If you got the money to buy all the fancy mowing toys, why wouldn't you want to mow your own lawn? Mind you, though, I probably could have bought something a little bit bigger and we would have got this done a lot faster. But oh, well, this works, too. Look at how tall this grass is. It's up to the top of the bumper on this mower. That is unacceptable. All right. So the lawn is looking uh, a little bit better now. We've got some of it mowed. Heck, I could probably get a rake, get a baler, and I can make bales out of this because it is so tall. But for now, I just want to finish getting this mowed and then we can go back to uh, the regular of driving tanks and uh well frankly i don't know what is regular around here all right i think we are done for now at least i was gonna do this little chunk here by the fence but i don't really feel like moving all that equipment so we're just gonna put this over here for now i'm sure there's probably way more i could do but uh, i kind of just wanted to get the fence part mainly cleaned up because it was looking pretty bad and then of course in front of the house there that was getting really really tall there i think there was a tree i wanted to cut down but uh it's probably good you know what I should get? I should get a lawn sweeper and I should just go along the side of the fence here and just clean it up. I probably won't do it in front of the house, but just along the side of the fence there. That way it doesn't blow all into the road. So I think I'm going to go pick one of those up real quick. And that should make a bit of a difference. All right. So I managed to grab a uh, lawn sweeper here and I'm just going to pull it with the Polaris. Is it just me? Or does that thing look like it's actually weighing it down a considerable amount? I don't know if that's a good thing. That's probably not a good thing, but oh well. All right. Lower this and... Is he going to start picking it up? What about now? It doesn't seem to want to work. Maybe I have to use the garden tractor with it. Aha. So it does work with this. Well, that's good. And we are full already. Well, I got full a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, Where am I going to dump this here? I think I'll just dump it here and then I'll come back and pick it up later. Because I don't really feel like going load by load with this small thing over to the other side of the yard there. Where I can dump this where it's going to be out of the way. So we'll probably just use the trailer after this. All right, so we got most of this done here. We're just picking up this side now. And then once that's done, we're going to go grab the quad, hook that up to the trailer, and then we'll try haul some of that away to a better spot. I'm not sure where exactly yet. Oh, we're already full. Probably somewhere behind the shop or something. We make just a big pile back there or something. I don't know. I'll get it figured out. Just got to make sure it's out of the way. Okay, well, I just filled this thing up here, so I think I'm just going to go take it behind the shop because we're close to this side of the yard now. Just skewed on through here. We're going to be able to fit through here. Yep, we're good. We'll just dump it off the back side of the hill here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I kind of have the skid steer back here that I forgot about. Yeah, just dump it right off the side of the hill here. That works. Okay, and we are done with that. Now it's time to move all this grass. All right, so we got the quad and trailer moved up over here. Now, I was thinking since I'm over on this side of the yard, I'll just dump it back in the woods instead of taking it all the way over there. And doing this was still easier taking it load by load with the lawn sweeper. But funny story, I had a new neighbor moving down the road and uh, I invited him over for a barbecue. And of course, as per usual, I, I cleaned it up today, but uh, as per usual, I have like tanks in the yard and stuff like, you know, I'm always doing something. I got lifted trucks, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff goes on in my yard. So I told him if you ever see a tank flying down the road or something or just a really, really lifted truck, don't worry pretty normal around here and trailer is full i spilled some on the ground but whatever it's fine this is almost cleaned up though i really would like to do something to this uh polaris whether that be a big snorkel kit portals or something i just like to make it a mud machine kind of like the renegade but we'll see um where am i gonna dump this here we'll just dump it back here yeah this is fine 
pretty closed off spot shouldn't be bothering nobody also some people were suggesting in my comments section of my last video that i should uh, make some more shops you know build a few more for all my toys i think i got plenty of shops i mean i got that big one down there that's not even filled up yet i mean half the time yes i don't keep every toy in there but uh i think i can still fit everything in there just fine the only place where i might make a shop is the motocross track because i have so much equipment for that so maybe i'll build one out there eventually gotta clean up the rest of this grass here and there we go we are good done finally oh nope never mind we got a little more left Get that little bit that we uh spilled on the ground there all right well the driveway is now looking a little bit better we've got uh the front yard there still lots of grass out there but i'm sure that'll blow away i just didn't want to uh have all that grass that was along here blown right into the road kind of makes it look bad so now that it's cleaned up looks a lot better and we have a horse out of course stay in your side of the fence come on i cut all the grass by the road i got plenty of grass out there look at that look at how tall that is isn't that just a sight tank pointing right at you as you come in the shop yeah i still think we need a, a monster max chassis on an rv i mean who, who wouldn't love that that would be so cool i think you might have to uh, make a few adjustments because you couldn't necessarily have yeah you'd have to model it so there was uh just one big tire here instead of two but hey that would be pretty dang cool monster bus yeah that'd be awesome okay so i was thinking here since we got this new truck and uh you know kind of the uh thing we do around here once we get a new truck we take it through the mud bog and uh see how it does and since this is probably one of my favorite new trucks i thought hey may as well although can't say i'm a big fan of chrome fuel rims they don't look bad there is better rims out there but uh, these don't look horrible i have seen worse anyway we're gonna take this thing down in the mud bog see how it does it should do decent but we'll see by the way this truck is unfortunately a gasser maybe i should do a diesel swap hey that'd be cool diesel swap on this that would look awesome this thing doesn't have the grippiest tires oh uh, actually you know what they're actually not too bad yeah they're pretty good but we'll see how it does here oh yeah i need to do some serious work to the mud pit unfortunately you can only make it so deep oh 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 we're spinning we're spinning yeah you can only make them so deep and then uh they they won't go any deeper and this is pretty much all you can do but it seems to go through pretty well nothing crazy it's spinning a little bit i got four wheel drive engaged and i love those lights they look so good yeah it's going yeah now it's all dirty now i gotta wash it do i have a pressure washer down here yes i do good because i'm gonna need it look at this thing look how dirty this thing is give it a wash there we go gotta say the custom grill on this it just looks so dang good i still have a truck and trailer down here i don't know why i probably should bring that back up to the house there but uh this is clean now so we're gonna head back up to the house here and uh do a few more things around the ranch all right i think we're good to go here we're actually uh getting the yard looking a little bit better all this is kind of still a mess but uh whatever anyway guys that's gonna be the episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing I am probably going to go do a bit more organizing around the uh, yard here. There's still bits, and uh, I think I have some equipment out by the track. Yeah, I have some out there. So I got to clean that up. And then I'm thinking I'm going to build a shop here by the end of uh, end of the week. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, so I've been told if uh, you strap a quad to the back of this thing, that it will do a wheelie. Um, so let's... Let's test that. Okay, let's back up here. Crazy. Okay. What if we take it over a jump? No, no, no. Don't go on this side. All right. Here we go. Is it going to land it perfect? Nope. No, it's not. Nope. It, no. It's uh, it's on its side now. I go straight from the bank. Gassing up the tank. Cranking up the radio. Playing old Hank. It ain't that long.